Well, there's five copies here, four copies here. Pass them around for those who do not know, and if you can follow along, so be it. I don't expect all of you to do so. Brahma Samhita as well. How many of you know the Brahma Samhita? If not by heart, at least can follow along. A few of you can. So that will come after as well. While we're chanting mantras, you can either listen or you can chant a little bit of your japa silently and quietly. <coughs> Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Punaktu Sahabi Yam Bhadavavahai Sejasvi Navadikta Vashtuma Vitvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Om Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitidamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Kauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavati Pashyaka Veshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadara Sri Vatsani Gaurava Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Apavitra Pavitra Vasarvasta Kokuto Piva Yasmare Pundari Kaksham Vahan Bhayanta Bhavyantara Suchihi Om Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Om Pur Namadha Pur Namitam Pur Na Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadhaya Pur Namedhava Shishyate Isha Panisha Om Isha Vasya Vigatkam Sarvayatkin Jajagatyam Jagate Tena Tena Bunjit Harmavita Kasya Svidhanam Purvanile Hakarmani Jijipi Shachtadakam Samaha Evam Vainanya Tetos Tina Karma Lipya Tainale Asudya Nama Tedoka Anena Tamasavita Tagam Stepritya Pikachanti Yekechak Mahano Jada Ane jare kamana sojari yau naira deva aplu van purva marshate tadhava tonyara deti tishatasim apo ma tarishwa tadhati tade jati tadnai jati tadhure tadvan pike tadantarasya saravasya tadu saravasya asya bhatya tahap Yastu Sarvani Bhuta Nyatman Yevanu Pashyati Sarva Bhuteshu Chakmaram Tato Navija Gupsate Yasmin Sarvani Bhuta Atmai Bhavud Vijanataha Tatra Komo Akashoka Ekatvamanu Pashyataha Sapariya Ghaja Pramakhaya Matra Namashna Virakham Shuddham Apapa Vidham Kavir Mani Shipari Bhuswayam Bhur Yadha Dhatyatur Thar Yadhadhaj Chashwatipya Samabhya Anantama Pravishanti Yedidya Mupasate Tato bhūya iva tetta mo yau sambhūt yāgam rata Anya deva hur vidya yanyada pura vidya ya Iti shushru madhira nam ye nasta vijya chakshire Vidyam cha vidyam cha yastar bhedho bhayakam saha Avidya ya mrityum tirutva vidya ya mrita mashnute Anhantam apravishanti esam bhuti mupasate Tato bhuya ibadetta mo sapyo sambhut yagam rata Anya deva hussam bhavaram yada purasam bhavate Iti shushumadhira nam yega stabdicha chakshire 
भक्ति विलोकनेम सुंदर चिंत गुणस्वूप गोविंद पारिपुरश
opportunity to act on behalf of the previous acharyas, the present spiritual master, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, to explain what we are about to see or to perform. This initiation is called Diksha. It's one of the sankars, or the processes of purification. In the Vedic culture, it mentions that there are stages of life that one must go through. And going through these different stages, there's a process to purify ourselves from material <coughs> tendencies, material affections, material contaminations, and move on to the goal of life. There is actually a goal of life. Life has a purpose, a meaning. Sometimes people would speak to Prabhupada about philosophers who would often say that the meaning of life is whatever you create as your own meaning. And so my meaning may be different than your meaning, and your may meaning may be contrary to my meaning. So everyone is supposed to, according to certain modern day philosophers, come up with their own definitions of what is the goal and purpose of life. But God has given the purpose of life 
He's also given life and he's also given the purpose of life. And that is Prema Pumartha Maham. To awaken what is natural within our existence. And that is to know God and to love God. The, the living entity in the material world is covered by one of the energies of God, which is called the Bahiranga Shakti, or that material energy, which has a certain principle about it. It makes one forget, and it makes one, what we say, it kicks one away from one's position, it makes one forget about one's position. It does both. It's called throwing and covering. And in those two potencies, the living entity is completely under the illusion that this material world is for my enjoyment. And therefore, what goes on as life, according to Shastra, is just a hard struggle to obtain something that is unattainable. <laughs> the desire to obtain it is natural, but the process of material activities and material, what we say, well, material desires and material activities are not the process to attain fulfillment in life. These are, what we say, given to us because of our desire to, what we say, act separate from God. <coughs> but it's natural to love God. It's natural to serve God. And therefore, we are in an unnatural state when we are not serving God and we are not serving in a way to awaken our love for God. But there's a process, and that process is given by the Lord himself in the Shastras on how to attain to our natural constitutional position. Jivair sarup oe krishnera nityadas. This is an actual verse spoken by Lord Chaitanya himself from the Chaitanya Charitamrita, which explains that all living entities in all species of life, whether it's in human forms, higher human forms such as the devas, or in animals, trees, plants, birds, aquatics, insects, creepers, whatever form of life, there is a soul there. And that soul has a natural, loving propensity towards the Supreme Lord. And therefore, there is a way to bring that soul who comes to the human form of life. Only when we come to the human form of life can we have a chance to make a solution to all the problems of life and to achieve the goal of life. In 1974, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada in one lecture in, I believe it was Leipzig University in Germany. He was addressing a college class and he began the class by saying there are 8,400,000 species of different forms of life and 400,000 of them are the human forms. The other eight million are below the human forms. And before one actually, a soul actually comes to the human form, it has transmigrated through all eight million forms. He says, you don't remember, nor is it possible to trace out that existence. But according to Shastra, in order to achieve the human form of life, it takes many, many millions of births. And therefore, the soul is imprisoned in a type of prison that is, one cannot get out of that prison. But somehow, through the process of evolution, not the Darwinian concept of evolution, but the evolution of the soul through one species after another, one eventually, finally, after so many millions of births, comes to the human form. And in that form, one has a choice to go up or to go back down. Because in that form, discrimination 
reason, intelligence is provided by that particular type of body. So in the human form of life only, and it's a rare birth, well, sometimes we don't really understand when the scriptures say to get a human form of life is rare. Just like in this room there's so many human beings, but there are also many germs and insects and other species that you can't even see, but they're also spiritual beings who are non different than you on the spiritual platform. So if we were to make an attempt to estimate, we would find that the human forms are in very small minority compared to the other species. And therefore, to obtain human birth, as is explained, is quite rare. And even rarer yet, within that rarity, there's another rarity that's even rarer. One comes in contact with a bona fide spiritual master or a process of pure devotional service. And Prabhupada explains, using a very interesting example, how rare it is that one can come in contact with the process of pure devotional service. He says that there's a huge, gigantic ocean. Oceans are huge. Just recently, I was on a boat trip, and we were over the Atlantic Ocean. And there were certain times when we were there where you would look out any side of the boat and all you could see was water. That's all. As far as you could possibly see, that's all you could see was water. And I was thinking, and we're just this little tiny boat in a little tiny part of this huge ocean and it looks so grand, but beyond that there's so much more ocean which we can't even see. And that's only the material world. And I was thinking, wow, God's creation is amazing. And I was feeling so tiny in this boat, although it was a nice big boat, very fancy, it had so many things. It was just like a little matchbox, or not even that. So Prabhupada uses the example, there's this huge ocean, and in the ocean, there's a frog somewhere swimming, and in that ocean there's also a log floating and in that log there's a hole now the frog somehow decides to surface and he somehow comes through that hole in the log the first time he surfaces a huge ocean a random frog a random log <laughs> Prabhupada said that's how rare it is to take up the process of pure devotional service it's nothing small it's only by the mercy of the spiritual master. When Srila Prabhupada was asked by one senior devotee, Srila Prabhupada, we don't have any sukriti, pious activities or good karma. Somehow we came to your lotus feet. How is that possible? Prabhupada said, I created your good karma. So only by the mercy of the spiritual master, and the mercy of the spiritual master is Krishna's mercy. The spiritual master has nothing of himself but what Krishna gives. And when he, it's his service to Krishna to distribute Krishna's mercy to others in the form of the opportunity to engage in the process of pure devotional service. And so, if we take up pure devotional service, that is very rare. So part of that process of pure devotional service, and what is the goal of pure devotional service? To awaken our relationship with Krishna. When we awaken our relationship with Krishna, we have solved all problems. As Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada's spiritual master used to say, there is only one problem, lack of Krishna consciousness. When you're Krishna conscious, you don't have any problems. Or we can, might even say all problems go far away by the presence of Krishna's con consciousness of Krishna. So the process of bringing, bringing us to Krishna consciousness is the process of taking the mercy given by Krishna to the spiritual master and applying to our life, in executing service 
to Krishna through the spiritual master who takes that mercy or takes that service and offers to Krishna and says, here, my dear Lord, please accept this person's service. And that's the process. And then when Krishna accepts our service, your life is perfect. You can go back home, back to Godhead. This material world is simply a cloud over the spiritual world. It's a place that the living entity wants to come to enjoy separate from Krishna. It's not our home. And we can't stay here. We have to keep changing bodies one after another. We can stay in the material world forever, but we can't stay in the material any material position for any long, any, any length of time. That's the nature of this world. It's built in in such a way that you can't stay here and you can't be happy here. That's the arrangement. Why? Because if you could, you wouldn't want to make any efforts to return to where you really belong, which is in the spiritual world with Krishna and loving devotional service. So the process of pure devotional service in this world is the mercy of the Lord to practice what we actually want to attain, be like in the spiritual world. Loving servants to Krishna and Krishna's devotees. So, and the process of initiation is, as Srila Prabhupada said, the <coughs> beginning of our execution of devotional service. We execute devotional service before initiation, but what we're doing is practicing and getting an understanding of what this process is about. And that initiation is simply to consummate what we have experienced and what we have desired in our own heart. That means I want Krishna, and here is the way to attain it. Therefore, I have to, in order to get Krishna, I take shelter of Krishna's representative and engage in devotional service. So initiation simply means to accept the path of devotional service as given by the Lord himself under the guidance of his representatives, that's all. And then we make vows. We can make a promise, but sometimes we break promises. But vows you can't break. A vow is a promise that is made where there is no question of another consideration. So that's why we say initiation vows. And what are we vowing? We're vowing to make a little bit of sacrifice in order to achieve something wonderful. Eternal life, full of knowledge, full of joy. It's a small price to simply restrict ourselves from certain material activities which are contrary to our spiritual nature, to our spiritual growth, like that. And so we make a, and what is the vows? To glorify the Lord every day by chanting His holy names and to refrain from certain materialistic activities which are considered by the Shastras to be inauspicious and contrary to our practice of devotional service. That's all. And if we simply do that and work under the guidance of the spiritual master in a sincere way, then we can awaken the presence of Krishna in our life. Krishna is there. He's in our life now. But it's, very, it's not easy to access his presence. But through the process of devotional service, as given by himself through the spiritual master, it's authorized. One cannot create a process and simply act according to that creation. One has to follow. Mahajano yena katasampanta. One has to follow in the footsteps of those who have, pra who, who have traversed the path before and are leaving that path for us to follow. And they teach us by their example and by their words. So this is a very wonderful ceremony. It's not initiation into some club. <laughs> it's not getting a new name so you can just be cool. <laughs> or be extra cool. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's about awakening your real identity. 
And that's what, it, and acting in such a way as that identity becomes foremost. And as we do that, we can experience Krishna. Krishna wants to associate with us. He's eager, but he makes some conditions because, as Prabhupada said, Krishna is not cheap. He's not cheap. <laughs> He's the greatest gift, and it takes some sacrifice. And so, when we make, when we take initiation, we're sacrificing what we may like to do for what Krishna wants us to do for our own benefit, that's all. So congratulations to those of you who have come to this stage. And we hope those of you who are sitting here will also consider what is my relationship with Krishna and how all I also can practice in such a way that I'll also be able to one day sit in these same positions and accept the vows of initiation. Tad Vigyarta Guru Eva Abhigatche, as Prabhupada quoted that verse, he says, to accept a spiritual master is a must. The word Abhigatche means must. There's no option. If we want Krishna, we can only get Krishna through his, the process that he gives. And he says, Tadviri patipatena paripasyena sevaya upadakshyanti te jnanam jnaninam tadvadarshana. Krishna speaks this verse in the Gita. If you want to know me, you have to know me through my spiritual representative, my pure devotee, spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada. So on behalf of Srila Prabhupada, we are very much honored to be here and, and to, to facilitate his mercy to others and therefore increase the size of Srila Prabhupada's family. <laughs> and please take this ceremony very seriously and for those of you who are already initiated, please give your blessings to these devotees who are about to embark on this path. Uh, your blessings, your prayers, your good wishes are very much heard by Krishna and when Krishna hears them, he also responds. So, thank you very much. And Hare Krishna. Siddha Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. His Holiness Niranjana Swami could not be here. He wanted to. He's trying to arrange his schedule accordingly. And many of you know he was dealing with some health challenges and other scheduling conflicts. So he wrote a letter to his address to Vidya, but it's also as important for the other initiates and all of us is for us to take note of it. December 14th, from Narendra Swami, 2012. Dear Vidya, please accept my blessings. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Today, when this will be read to you, is a very special day for me. I am very happy to know that you are taking this step in your life and grateful to Chandramali Swami for making it possible. Of course, I am happy for all the devotees who are taking initiation today, and this should go without saying but there is special joy for me in your initiation. As you know, I've known you and cared for you since you were a very little girl. I've always thought of ways to inspire and assist you with your progress in spiritual life. Today, you are more than doubling my pleasure. From today forward, each opportunity I will get to inspire and assist you will give me the opportunity to serve my dear godbrother, Chandramali Maharaj, as well. Thank you so much for increasing my opportunity to serve Vaishnavas. Always your will wisher, Devanjana Swami. Thank you. Uh -huh.
First to Sri Sri Radha Gopi Balava, Srila Prabhupada, and then we'll go to their spiritual master to be, offer obeisances to him with their right side facing him. And he has some questions to ask about. Full obeisances, pranas, Shiva Prabhupada's pranam mantra out loud. Ma Om, Vishnu Padaya, Vishnu Prasthaya. So, what are the four regulated principles? No meat eating, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling. And do you agree to chant at least 16 rounds on the yes. Hare Krishna mantra on beats every day? Yes, I agree to chant 16 rounds every day. At least? At least, yeah. Minimum, at least 16 rounds every day. That's not maximum. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really hard for me to find a name for him because he has such a beautiful name now. I was thinking, should I really change his name for so much? <laughs> but since that's the program, I did. I've known uh, Kandanath for so many years, and he's always been very kind, simple, hearted, and very a well-wisher of everybody. So there's a particular name of Krishna that is very much conducive to your new name is Karuna Sindhu. Thank you. 
Hey Krishna Guna Sindhu, Dina Mandu Jagat Pate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Vastate. This is the good wife of Guna Sindhu. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling. Do you agree to chant at least 16 rounds on beats every day in the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? Yes, Guru Maharaj. I take a vow to chant minimum 16 rounds every day. Your name is one. It's a name of which I thought would be very much appropriate. It means one who attains perfection by worshipping your deity. Your new name is Archana Siddhi. She likes to worship God in the deity form. This way, Maria. Excuse me. No illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, and no gambling. And you agree to follow them? Yes. <laughs> do you agree to chant at least 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra beats every day? Yes, I vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds every day. You sure? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you're not so sure. <laughs> I came across her name. I was struggling to find a name for her. And I was worshipping Radharani, doing a little puja, and Radharani told me the name of Eva. I heard it this time. So this is a name for Radharani. She wanted you to have one of her names. It means she is victory herself. The new name is Jai Rod. Hey! She's loved by all the boys. And me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jai Rod, hey, baby, Dasi Key. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
What is the formula you'll take? Those things? No meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex, and no gambling. Don't you agree to follow them and to chant at least 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Mahal March while beats every day? Yes, I agree to chant at least 16 rounds on beats every day and to follow the four regular principles. Even if you have to work? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even if you're tired? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last year's was very strong. So. <laughs> okay. The new name is. Uh, oh, she also has a beautiful name, Vicky. It means many things. Your name, your name is a name for Radharani. Actually, Radharani's name is Vrindavaneshwari. Radharani has many associates that are very dear to her. So one of her names is. Vishaka Priya Vrindavan Eshwari. So your new name is Vishaka Priya Vrindavan Eshwari Devi Das. Such a small girl with such a big name. <laughs> so that the Lord Shri Shri Gopibalava can get into their pajamas and have a little dinner. Um, so we'll close the curtains after we open the fire. After that, then we'll chant the um, Uttar Anuvaka of the Purusha Shukta, which is one portion of the Purusha Shukta. Then we will chant the Mangala Charam. It should take about 10 minutes to 10, 15 minutes for the last portion of the ceremony. Um, the initiates offer grain to the fire. Ring finger, middle finger of the right hand, and toss it into the fire. Okay? Uh, later on, you'll offer the banana. Offer the oblation into the fire on the swaha. Sahana Bhutu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahabi Yung Guru Baba Hai, Tinja Srinava Dita Mashrima Vishava Hai. Om Shanti 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 Atapurisho Havai Narayana Kamayata Prachasri Jayate Narayana Brahma Jayate Manasaravindriyanicha Kambayur Jyoti Rapa Prithivi Vishvasya Dharini Narayana Brahma Jayate Narayana Rudra Jayate Narayana Indra Jayate, 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 Narayana
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uttara Anubhaka, Answaha, offer oblations into the fire. Uttara Anubhaka, Purusha Shuktam. Om Adhya Sambhuta Priti Gaira Sajcha, Vishwakarma Nassama Bhartatadhi, Kasyat Vashta Vidadat Rupa Medhi, Tattvarishasya Vishpamajana Madhve Swaha Iram Krishna Iram Namama Om Vishyate Lakshmi Shapatnya Aham Gatre Parshve Nakshatrani Rupam Ashvinau Vyattam Ishtamanishana Amam Manishana Saram Manishana Swaha Iram Krishna Iram Namama Om Bhur Swaha Iram Krishna Iram Namama Om Bhur Swaha Iram Chita Iram Namama Om Swaha Swaha Iram Narayana Iram Namama Om Bhur Bhur Swaha Iram Arantha Iram Namama Okay, we're going to chant now when we chant. I will chant and then you repeat after me. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Ajnana Timirandasya Yanjana Shalakaya Yanjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Chakshurun Militam Yena Asmai Shri Gurave Namaha Asmai Shri Gurave Namaha Swaha Hairam Gurave Ram Namaha Om Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Om Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Stapitam Yena Bhutale Slayam Rupa Kadhamayam Slayam Rupa Kadhamayam Dhati Svapadantikam Dhati Svapadantikam Swaha Iram Gurvayam Namama Om Pandeham Shri Guru, Shri Yuta, Mada Kamalam, Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha, Shri Rupam, Sankrajatam, Sahagana, Yaguna Thanditam Thamsa Jeevam, Sadvaitam, Sabadhutam, Parijana, Saitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha, Krishna Param, Sahagana, Sahagana, Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha, Swaha, Krishna Sarvathatpe Dhoiram Namama Om Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Om Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedhanta Shrimate Bhakti Vedhanta Swamin Niti Namine Swamin Niti Namine Swaha Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nidvishesha Sunyavadi Vishnatya Desha Tarine Om Vishnu Padaya Om Nama Om Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Siddhanta Shri Mate Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Dinamine Saraswati Dinamine Swaha Swaha Paragura Vairam Namama Om Madhur Yajvala Om Madhur Yajvala Madhya, Shri Rupa Nuga Bhakti Da, Shri Gaura, 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 Shri
Hayya Namastu Namaste Gauravani Om Namaste Gauravani Shri Murtaye Dinatarine Shri Murtaye Dinatarine Stop Shri Varshubhana Videvi Shri Varshubhana Videvi Kaitaya Kritabdhaye Kaitaya Kritabdhaye Krishna Sambhanda Krishna Sambhanda Vyana 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 Om Namaste Gaurabhani Om Namaste Gaurabhani Shri Muttaye Dinatarine Rupanuga Vidhapa Siddhanta
Three times we will chant the Pranam mantra of Krishna. Three times together. Hey Krishna Kaduna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagatpate Gopesha Bhavika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Hey Krishna Kaduna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagatpate Gopesha Bhavika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Hey Krishna Kaduna Sindhu Dina Bandha Jagatpate Gopesha Bhavika Kanta Radha Swahairam Krishna Yedam Namama. Place your bananas around the side of the fire. Mm -hmm. 
inside, but yeah, not on the flame. Don't extinguish the flame. No, no, yeah, yeah, perfect. That's all right, that's all right. Just do the best you can. Om Pur Namata Pur Namitam Pur Nat Pur Namutachate Pur Nasya Pur Namataya Pur Namitava Shishate Shanti Pajikum Om Yava Shanti and Tari Sham Shanti Pradivi Shanti Upa Shanti Bayu Shanti Tedu Shanti Yashadaya Shanti Loka Shanti Brahmana Shanti Vaishnava Shanti Shanti Rastu Driti Rastu Om Shanti 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 Praya Shita Homa Om Anga Hinam Kriya Hinam Vidhi Hinam Chayat Bhavet Astu Tat Sarva Astityam Krishna Kashna Prasarataha Yadkinchi Vaidunam Charam Dadhusha Prasamana Saha Shri Krishna Smaranam Kuromi Om Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 